Hi, I'm Mrs. Space Cadet. Welcome back to my brain. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. What are you going to do about it? Today we're going to be doing another story time. But first, I would like to address something. There was a hate video made about me. What can I say? <laughs> kind of a big deal, so. Kidding, obviously. Speaking of that, kidding, obviously. I realized from one comment on that on her video, my new friend Emily from the Not Busy Life I'll link it down below. It's a it's a funny video. I liked it. I realized that some people take life too seriously. Not her. I'm talking about a comment. People unsubscribe from her channel. Two things I learned. I see this in so many YouTube comments on things that are meant to just be funny. Number one, people take life so seriously. And number two, they don't get sarcasm. That is And to those people, especially the people that take life too seriously, I feel bad for you. I do, and I'm sorry. On this channel, we like to say, Fuck that. Because you know what? If you don't laugh, you'll cry. I cry too, so. Let's just get right into this story time. I'm gonna tell you about the time that there was a skunk in my room, my bedroom. You heard it right, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, peeps. This was when I was still living with my parents, so I think it was after college before I moved out. It was the dead of summer. They don't have air conditioning in their house, so my windows were wide open. I woke up to the smell of an overwhelming smell of skunk, which, you know, it's the country. People hit skunks on the road and then it'll smell a little bit, but this was so strong that I'm like, this is in the house. It is in the house and it sprayed something. So I, I open my eyes and I, I look over on my floor and I see black and white stripes. I froze. There's a freaking skunk on my floor. What do you do? What would you do if there was a skunk on your floor at night next to your bed? Well, here's what I did. I slowly put the blankets over my head so that it wouldn't see me. And I try and plan out how the heck I'm gonna get out of there without getting sprayed by this skunk. I'm scared to even breathe loud at this point. Time goes by, I can't figure out a game plan. No, if I move, the skunk's gonna spray me. I figure I need to somehow get my dad's attention. So at this point, I'm under the covers. It is dead of summer, no air conditioning. I'm pouring sweat. I'm about to have heat stroke. And I start to go, dad, dad. Okay, well the skunk's not moving, you know, maybe it doesn't hear me, I don't know. Dad. He was already up, maybe going to the bathroom or something. I got his attention and he comes up to open the door to my room and I said, there's a skunk on my floor. I'm terrified at this point. Can you imagine a skunk right there gonna spray you point blank? I don't know why I'm so scared of that. To this day, I'm terrified of that. When I go running at night or anytime, I'm not scared of a freaking bear or cougar or coyote or something attacking me. I'm scared of getting sprayed by a skunk. So my dad goes to get like a towel or something to, to, to trap the skunk. And I'm still under the covers, pouring sweat, freaking out. He opens the door turns on the light and I'm like, oh, here we go, here we go. The skunk's gonna spray us now, we're done. He's like, there's no skunk in here. I'm like, yes, there is, it's on the floor. Like right there, how do you not see a skunk? Right on the floor. He goes, get out of the freaking covers and look at the floor. It was a white shirt and black shorts. Like how I took my clothes off, just laid next to each other on the floor. And I was so delirious and, you know, it was dark. So I just saw the outline of it. I thought it was a skunk. The skunk must have gotten hit right outside of our house, right there. Cause I've never smelled a skunk that strong in my life. Oh, there's a big hawk. Whoa, it's just soaring around there. You know, another reason I thought that there was actually a skunk in my room is if you would know the other animals that have gotten in that house, you would believe it was a skunk in the room also. Um, there's been a snake in the house when I was home by myself and I'm deathly afraid of snakes. The snake, it was coiled, curled up, coiled up, coiled, coiled, curled, coiled up on the stairs and I went to run up the stairs to get ready to go and I saw 
the snake, freaked out, jumped off the stairs, and the snake slowly slithered up the stairs. And once it was to the top, I creeped up the stairs following it, and it went into my sister's room. And I was like, I don't even care. I shut that door, and it's the house is so old, the door doesn't really shut tightly. So I got dirty towels out of the laundry and lined them up along the door so it, it would not be able to get out. Long story short of that occurrence, we never found the freaking snake. Yeah, for months I knew there was a snake in the house and we didn't know where it was. That was freaking awesome. A uh, common occurrence were bats. In the middle of the night, a bat would just be like <gasps> flapping around. Uh, my dad would have to get it like Get, capture it with a towel, get it outside, uh, and they would swoop. <gasps> I know they're not gonna hit you, but man, they got close. <gasps> yeah, what were some other ones? I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, birds. So yeah. Yeah, the story, it, you know, it sucks. I have another story I wanna tell that is like epic and it's so, <laughs> it's so insane. Like how I told, how I ended this one, you know, the skunk wasn't actually in my room. The next story I want to tell is like, no, this this happened and it's like legit insane. The reason I'm not telling it in this video is I need to prepare for this. I need to reenact. I want you guys to be in that moment with me and I want to make it awesome. So stay freaking tuned, man. And oh, what a surprise, my battery died. Charge now that I'm basically done with this video. I think I'm gonna do like a really original idea here. I'm going to do like a comment shout out or something. I'll take a screenshot of my favorite comment from the last video. So here's that. If you made it to the end of this video, say I love lamp in the comments. Cause you know, I'm just curious. This was a long one and slightly boring. Really boring, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, St. Patty's Day is coming up. If I had my stuff together, I would do a drink and make, you know, drinking beer and making Irish soda bread or something. I don't know. Maybe my Irish friend Dara will do a uh, St. Patty's Day thing. The 25% of me that's Irish feels like I should do a St. Patty's Day theme thing. But you know what? That's not really true to Mrs. Space Cadet because Mrs. Space Cadet never has her shit together. <laughs> so. Until next time.